Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I am so incredibly excited to talk about this haul because it is one of my absolute favorite places to shop. I can go there, have like one or two things in mind and walk out with the complete opposite of what I even needed. And it's just one of those stores, I just get relaxed, I lose track of time there, I can spend like two hours there and think I was only there for like 20 minutes. It's it's a magical place, okay, if I may say so myself. And I'm so excited to share what I got there. Um, the other day, I filmed my last video, my work from home as a graphic designer. You should watch it if you haven't seen it yet. And I talked about potentially doing a TJ Maxx haul because I spent a lot of my time there, I spent a lot of my money there, love them. So I decided, you know what, I bought a lot of things there recently and I was like, I might as well share because I actually really loved everything I bought um, from this haul and I... I'm just really excited to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. Candles first, I didn't go too crazy. Every time I go to TJ Maxx, I do get a candle. Um, my mom was like, you, you do know you have a problem, right? And I was like, I, I do. I'm very much aware that I have a candle addiction. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. Probably nothing. <laughs> Sand and Fog, it is one of my favorite uh, brands. I don't know if you can see right there. I don't know how to ever get this thing to focus, but Stand and Fog, one of my favorite um, brands for candles. I feel like their scents are always very subtle and it's not too overpowering um, when I light it because I light my candles for like five plus hours at a time. Um, and this one is called California Beach House and it smells, it gives me this nostalgic sense of summer. Like it smells like coconut, sunscreen, tanning oil, whatever. It smells like the wind is blowing by on the beach and you're just like laying there relaxing and um, it is currently gloomy and snowy outside and very cold, so makes me just reminisce on the summer days and, you know, looking forward to <laughs> it rolling around the corner eventually, so love this one. I lit it recently and I was like, no, it kind of makes me sad. I feel like I need to wait for summer to light that one just to like, you know, feel the summer vibes. <laughs> I lit this one in my last video. I've used like far too much of this candle already. White Magnolia and Sage. Oh my god, it is the most sweet, simple, clean smelling candle I own. It feels cozy, it feels like you want to meditate with this candle lit, and I do that sometimes, and it just, it's like a very nice candle. Like, I feel like people get really picky about what their candles smell like, and honestly, this one I think anyone would like. I haven't burned this one in a little bit because I'm trying not to overdo it, because I want this one to last. I have about maybe like 30 candles? Maybe, if I'm being nice. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I have so many. Okay, moving on. Those are the candles I got. Should we do... Let's do clothes next. Okay. So, I went a little crazy with clothing this go around, but I feel like when you go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls, whatever, it's always like a hit or miss. So, you're either going to walk out with a bunch of clothes or you're going to walk out with nothing. So, it's always up in the air. This was a really good trip because I found so many articles of clothing that I was like, oh, this is perfect, need to have it, and I've been wearing them ever since. Uh, start off, let's talk about this sweater. It is from TJ Maxx. Guess how much it was? $10. $10. I, I'm like shocked by it. It was on sale. The color, first off, is what stood out to me in this pattern. I love it. It's very wintry with the turtleneck. It's very cozy. It looks like wool. It's not... It wool makes me itchy and this is very cozy. I like the balloon sleeves it has. It's like, which was like a little tighter on my wrist, but I like it. It's very cozy, very comfortable. Like, doesn't make me too hot. I get really hot in sweaters sometimes and I just feel like this is, you know, perfect temperature. Super easy to just like wear with jeans. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> not dying. I don't know. Really comfortable to wear with jeans, leggings, maybe even sweatpants. It's like not really... It's not really cropped, so it's kind of like a nice perfect length. Ow. It's like a nice perfect length um, to wear again with like leggings, jeans, whatever. So really happy with it. Just I'm obsessed with the color. I love this like neutral beige. Oh, it's really nice, especially now. I have to wash this because I just wore it to the gym today and I was a little sweaty. But this champion um, sweatshirt, it has this really interesting neckline. Um, and that's what really stood out to me. Uh, when I saw it, it's like, um, doesn't go too high up that if you zip it up, it's like up to here. It's like a nice little, almost like crew neck with a zipper. It's a nice cut. Um, has a little champion, uh, logo right there. And it's just really soft. Again, I 
like the color of it. I like the really natural, like creamy, off-white um, colors, and I thought this was really nice. It's like a, it's like a gray, white. I don't know. I can't really explain it, but you see it. You get the picture. Been wearing this a lot. Really cozy to lounge around in, and wear to the gym. But this is going in the wash right now. <laughs> Lately, I have been off my gym grind a little bit, but I'm trying to get back on because I went today. And when I was at TJ Maxx, I was like, let's check out the workout tops because I love a good workout top. It always motivates me to want to go to the gym, you know, feel cute, feel like I'm, you know, comfortable in what I'm wearing. And I saw this top and I was obsessed with it. It's this white camo and I love it. I think it's just really simple and nice and it's really comfortable. It's very breathable. It's like a really nice, you know, sweat wicking workout top. Um, I just thought it was really cute because like I always try and look for like Lululemon dupes or like aloe dupes or whatever. So this was pretty good. I mean, it was like nine bucks, like easy <laughs> to pay for, nothing like too crazy. And then I found this little Adidas top, very plain from the front, you know, uh, sleeveless. But it has this really interesting, um, I guess, sort of pattern down the back, um, just the middle. I think it's really different. I haven't really seen anything like it. I feel like black is just really flattering to wear the, to the gym because A, if you sweat in it, you really can't see it, and B, black is very slimming. So I always feel confident rocking some black clothing to the gym. So definitely be wearing this, even though the back kind of bothers me, like the way it like shapes when I move, but who really cares? You know what I mean? It's like the gym and I just think it's kind of fun. So screw it, right? Who cares? Like I was saying about the tops, I'm always looking for a really good Lululemon dupe so specifically the leggings I actually recently bought a pair of Lululemon leggings $104 that's how much I spent on one pair of leggings and truthfully they weren't even that comfortable granted I maybe could have gone up a size but overall like it didn't feel great like putting them on I'm very big on once you start putting a pair of pants on like you know it's gonna fit comfortably like you know you don't have to get all the way to the top for it to feel good and I feel like they just, I already knew they weren't going to feel great and they, they just didn't, they didn't. So that was a bummer and I was like, you know, I'm going to return them and see if I can find like a nice buttery pair of workout leggings that aren't see-through from TJ Maxx and lo and behold, I bought three pairs of leggings, hopefully, like hoping that they would, they would fit and look nice because I can't try things on um, there because their fitting rooms are all closed, but I found three of the softest leggings I've ever owned. They're $14.99 to $16.99, which... If you put it all together, it, three of them equal less than how much one pair of Lululemon leggings cost. So I was like in shock. This is the first pair I got. They are very much like a buttery, soft yoga pant. I feel like they're not really, they don't, they don't feel too like sweat wicking. Like I don't feel like I would do cardio in them. I would do like more of like, you know, yoga or maybe some like weight training. They are the from the Balance Collection. They have like this little logo. I'm sure people have seen these before. I feel like they're pretty popular. Can you see it? I hope it's focused. I can't really tell, but they're really comfortable. I've done like the 12 free 30 workout on them and it's fine. They don't slide down. Sometimes like leggings will fall off and I'm like, why are they falling down? Like they should fit. So these are really great. I've worn all three of them to the gym already. So I, I'm pretty confident in like my reviews of them. And there's another one. This was the brand Yogalicious Lux. Never really heard of them. They have this little like moon sort of logo on the back. Um, they are a camo print. You can't really tell and I like that it's so subtle. It's very hard to see it but I like it because I feel like it's very versatile. You can wear it with a lot of different tops and not really you know feel like it's too distracting or overwhelming of a pattern. Again, very soft. Um, they do feel a little bit more of like a sweat wicking material. Specifically wearing these on leg day, um, they were great because they weren't see-through so I could squat and they were squat proof so that was great. And they're just a really flattering length too. Last ones, these are RBX, that's the brand. Um, this is their little logo. These are very nice leggings. I love the look of them and I feel like these are really close to being like the best Lululemon dupe, just the way that they fit, the way that they're sewn. It's just such a flattering, nice look. Um, I think that these hide sweat really well. And yeah, I really enjoyed wearing these three pairs of leggings to the gym so far. Again, so much better like than the Lululemon ones, of course. I wanted to hop on the whole Lululemon train. I want to own at least one pair. I was like, I really want to be a part of this whole like community. 
but in reality it just like wasn't worth it to me you know I feel like my money could go elsewhere like I love sneakers I love like going out clothes like I feel like I could have just put my money towards something a little bit better than that so yeah got like three pairs of leggings for like 68 bucks rather than one pair for 104 so okay so I have my random little house decor that I got from TJ Maxx that is like my favorite section to look through there what are they called coffee table decor you know stuff like that like books little like mini plants fake plants sculptures I don't even know what to call that section I just love it like, it feels like I'm a child in a toy store when I enter this section of the store so I would see this book a lot but like I'm like do I really want it I've always debated getting it and I was like I don't know I don't know I don't know so I never actually get it but then I always regret it because I'll see it I've seen it at like Urban Outfitters I'm just like oh, I should have gone I should have gotten it and I was at TJ Maxx and there was this it was just ra sitting there the only one there in a random like spot in the store and I was like yep today's the day I'm getting it and I'm so happy I did because I don't know if I fully believe in astrology too much in the sense with like you know if you're a leo then like this is your this is who you are if you're a libra this is who you are i don't know if i fully believe that and just because me my brother my dad and my boyfriend we are all leos <laughs> i couldn't express in words how different we all are so this book talks about understanding and, and improving every relationship in your life for example let's go to like a scorpio and it talks about financial responsibilities that a Scorpio feels a roommate that's a Scorpio a friend that's a Scorpio oh my god this is so random caring for the aging Scorpio parent like these things are so specific that they talk about and it could be interesting like it could relate um, to them I've looked at the Leo section specifically just because you know there's a lot of Leo's in my life it's definitely been really interesting to read about um, I could say like the fiery aspect I see in like me, I see in my boyfriend, I see I guess in my brother and my dad, I don't know. We're different, but I, we obvi obviously share some similarities, so I don't know. I'm going to keep reading because it is definitely interesting, but I don't know how much it actually, you know, can help in my relationships with these people, but who knows. To say, it's a nice cover. <laughs> my room isn't too big and I don't know why every time I go to like home goods any of the TJ Maxx stores, Marshalls, whatever, every time I go there, I'm like, maybe I'll find something cute for my room, but I'm like, I don't have any more space in my room, so I don't know what I'm thinking, but I went a little crazy, and I decided to get some new things for my room, so I had to re redo some things just to make room for <laughs> these few pieces. I don't know what the word is, but I was on this, like, I was on this trip of like let's like find some things to help like bring me down to earth and feel a little more like earthy crunchy and me like I want to meditate more so like, I just wanted to get things that made me feel like I was more like oh spiritual there we go I wanted to feel more spiritual I don't know I I can't explain it but for example this hand stood out to me um it's really cool because you know how like um fortune tellers I think that's who can like read your palms or palm reader i don't know if they have a specific name your lifeline is in one spot your travel lines um heart line stuff like that so i think it's really cool uh i love the look of it i like that it's like it's not white it's kind of this um cream gray with this uh cool broken looking texture i don't know if you can really see but this is the hand down here and i think it's just really fun a cute little piece to have in my room on the same vibe of being feeling more spiritual and whatever i was like let's let's get this like weird quirky eye bowl i was like i don't know what i'm gonna put in it i could put rings right now i'm putting a bunch of receipts that i feel like i could need at one point you know stuff that i bought you know where i bought a lot of items and i like to just keep in case i ever need to return something whatever so i have a couple of receipts in here all my furniture in here is like white so it kind of just sticks with that theme lastly i got this little fake plant oh, price it's so hard to take the prices off of the <laughs> off of the pieces i get from tj maxx sometimes i'm like i try and rip it off doesn't come off so i'm like you know what let's just face it the other direction so here i feel like i've learned a lot from hgtv specifically hometown is a big one for me and of course uh fixer upper and i feel like they always talk about balancing like wood to make things more warm specifically when it comes to like white colors or like you know more neutral colors and i think the wood really does warm up my room a bit <laughs> so 
it's a fake plant i'm really i have a lot of fake plants like this one's a fake plant um they won't die on you so that's really nice so it's a cute one i still have the tag on I, i'm not really sure where i'm gonna put it yet it's just been sitting by my books but <sighs> maybe i'll do a little makeover soon just to switch things up i like changing things in my room often because i spend so much time in here i like to just you know move some things around feel like there's a little bit of change that was everything i got from tj maxx i actually no i have one more thing i totally forgot i forgot because it was in um i washed it and it was in my laundry basket but i just remembered thankfully i am very into pajama sets lately i have been for quite some time now that's like all i wear to bed and i thought this one was so cute I liked the gray and has this cute little pocket with their logo on it. I just feel like, I feel very classy wearing it. <laughs> it's a very soft material and it comes with these matching pants. It has this white little, these white little lines on the bottom, which is cute little balance um, because it's on, it lines the collar here and lines the bottom of the sleeves. Uh, I've worn it once and very comfortable, very breathable, and it doesn't make me like sweat at night or anything. Like it's just very nice, light material. So I also got another pajama set and I thought it was really cute. It was tan with white lines, like little stripes. And I thought it was very subtle and sweet, but those didn't fit. They fit kind of weird. Like the top was really long and hugged me. So I was like, why am I so, <laughs> why do I feel so restricted? And I also bought this fun pair of like bell bottom pants, but they felt a little tight and gave me like really weird like shape and I just didn't like it. I felt kind of like Ugh, not right. So return those, but this was everything I purchased um, from that trip. So obviously it went a little ham, okay? Went a little crazy, but it was worth it because I really enjoy everything I bought. <sighs> Going to TJ Maxx just makes me so happy. Like anytime I see a TJ Maxx or Marshalls, in the area i'm like yep if i don't feel like i have to be anywhere i'm like this is the perfect time to just go walk around relax like just smell candles like just like the ambiance of it is just so nice like it's just my favorite when i move i'm gonna be like living at home goods like i'm so excited to decorate my own place because i just i don't really have much space here to decorate so when i move i will be able to go to home goods and spend all my money there so <laughs> okay i lied one more time i'm sorry i screwed up I got this giant bin for my candles, for my candle collection, um, on this trip. I can't believe I forgot. I'm really bad at this. It's just this big gray bin. I'm not going to pick it up because my candles are in it and it's so incredibly heavy, but I'll just insert a clip of it. It's just really simple, like a felt kind of bin. Um, definitely necessary because it, they were like living in this giant Victoria's Secret pink bag and it looked weird and now it's like it feels a little bit more manageable and i can seal my candles I, no one's asking but this candle it's not from tj maxx it is not from marshall's my mom actually got it for me as part of my valentine's day gift um uh, it's from nordstrom and she said she really liked the quote or the the title whatever of the candle by the shape of it's really unique and it's definitely different i like it because i feel like i never really find anything like this when i'm at my basic stores and it's lavender and rosemary I swear that is everything now. <laughs> I am not gonna say I forgot anything else, I think. I TJ maxed myself out. Haha, <laughs> funny. Um, I probably won't be there for a little bit. But I'm happy with all my stuff. I feel very content right now. Um, and I'm so glad I got to share with everyone. Yeah, really great, like, bleh, I can't speak. Really great Lululemon dupes at TJ Maxx. Amazing candles, like great clothes sweater amazing and that book sometimes you can like luck out and find something really cool so i hope you guys have some fun tj maxx purchases that you are very proud of like me so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye